Reason why? The ones who don't have children can come in and work overtime. The reason why is because the ones who don't have children can come in and work during their vacation time. And they don't have child-related emergencies. No one gets hurt. You see what I'm saying? My child has a broken leg or my child has the sniffles. They don't have to worry about that. And neither does their boss. They don't have to worry about report card pickup. They don't have to worry about, uh, I have an emergency parent meeting. None of that. They also said that women who wait until their 30s, like 36 years old, 35 years old, they don't receive that penalty because they're considered to be mature enough to handle the responsibility. They're considered to have more than enough resources to have a babysitter. You understand what I'm saying? And they're also considered to be mature enough to have a husband. See, the ones who have children during their 20s and their teens are more likely to be single parents. So therefore, you're not worth as much. So you guys have to consider that as well. But back to this woman, hopefully she doesn't have children. Because at that point, paying for that really expensive house is going to be a chore. It's going to be a chore enough just by herself. See, she had her husband's help, but he bailed. Smart man. He figured he can get a, he can get a woman who will be willing to listen to him, be willing to work with him, though that couple could work together to have a better life. Sometimes you want to buy a flat or something like that first before you buy that house. You can buy a five-bedroom flat, a four-bedroom flat, and live like a king and queen. And then you go ahead and you sell that five- or four-bedroom flat, and then you buy your house. A buddy of mine did it. Same road I'm on. It's a smart move. That way you have the financial income, the credit, and the backing of the fact that you've done this already before, so the bank is going to give you a lot more money. But see, she wasn't thinking about that. She just wanted to impress. She impressed herself out of a husband. So who's to blame? It's certainly not him. I know a lot of the African-American women right now, they want to blame that brother. He should have stuck in there. A real man would have. The problem with African-American women right now the problem with African-American women right now is they wouldn't know a real man if he was standing right next to him, in front of him, behind him, driving down the street, nothing, flying a plane. They wouldn't notice. The only thing they really notice is a complete fool. And since he wasn't willing to be her fool, she's now single. This is the Calvary. I'm out.